guys, it's Melanie with Vintage Makeovers for Melanie. Thanks for coming to my channel and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today I'm going to show you how I updated this old armoire and made it into something cool. Alright, so let's get started. So this armoire is pretty dated. Not sure what these seashell things are called, but uh, they gotta go. So using some wood putty, I'm using Elmer's. It doesn't really matter what brand you use, as long as it's paintable and stainable. Same thing here, this decal has got to go. I put two layers of wood putty to cover up my seashells, making it pretty smooth. Now let's go ahead and just sand that to a nice smooth finish and we are ready to go. So let's get going. Today we're using Wise Owl's Icelandic Mist. That's going to be our base coat. I'm going to put two coats of that on there. Using Durham's wood putty, I'm going to go ahead and take some of this powder and mix it with my saffron thread and make ourselves a medium. Durham's is a great medium to use for lace stencils. It's very affordable and it dries really fast. The first color that I've dipped into here is called Poseidon. I'm gonna use my misting bottle and my Klingon S50 to start blending that in. Here's a sneak peek of my next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see how I did this. So I am using quite a few colors today. I'm gonna to try to tell you as I dip, I just dipped into Higgins Lake. I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out now. And let's go ahead and put in some saffron thread. Whenever blending colors, you want to make sure you have water handy. It is essential to blending those colors together and getting a smooth finish. Color I'm applying now is called Abyss. So you will see me going back and forth between Icelandic Mist, Higgins Lake, Saffron Thread, Poseidon, and Abyss. I'm blending them in until I get the look that I want.
All right, guys, so here's the deal. Like, I'm totally, I'm digging here. And like, this is probably my favorite spot, a whole thing, in here. But it's like, it's just too dark. It's just too dark, so we're gonna lighten it up. All right, so I'm gonna go back with my base color, which was as Icelandic Mist. We're gonna go back with that. I'm gonna lighten all this up. And then I'm probably gonna darken it up again. But this is what I do. So, until I have it the way I like it. Icelandic Mist, water. Here we go. Finally, I was happy with what I did, so now it's go time to go ahead and apply some clear wax. Using your clear wax, you can create any colored wax you want. So going back with Icelandic Mist, Saffron Thread and Poseidon, I made myself three different colored waxes. Thank you guys for watching. If you're interested in any of the products I use, please look in the comments. There'll be links. See you guys soon.